Our guest today is a singer and songwriter who started out from Padhakot City. Yes, he's a Padhakot boy, but now he is international. His album, Elevated, debuted at number three on the iTunes album chart. And we just heard a song, Bellama. Guys, Mr. 2K is in the building. How you doing? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> you're looking good, you're looking chilled, you know. So, you know, your album is doing really well, you know, yeah. on the charts, you know, chatting things and everything. How's it going? It's going fine for me at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm just chilling, just cashing out, you know. <laughs> now, let's talk about your second album, Elevated, that debuted at number three, mm -hmm. you know, on the iTunes chat. What was the inspiration behind the album? Okay. Why is it called Elevated? Okay, fine, but I'll correct something first. My album has been on number one on iTunes. The first time it got out, it went to number three. That was yes. the first release. But yeah. after that, it's been, on, it's number been one. on number one for over yeah. a week right now. Okay. And so the, the, the inspiration behind or the name uh, elevated because I actually faced life struggle. I've, I've actually conquered all that. I've faced rejection. I've conquered it. So mm -hmm. I've moved from one level to another. So I've, I've actually been elevated from mm -hmm. because I knew when I stayed way back as early as two, uh, when I got signed to Craft as early as 2010, mm -hmm. uh, where I am today, I wasn't here. Mm -hmm. you know? So I'm here right now and I'm aspiring to go higher than where I am. So it's elevated. All it's elevated. You've overcome many obstacles. And we can't talk about, we can't, we can't, um, Move this interview forward. We start talking about the elephants in the room. Oh, yes, there's an elephant in the room. Okay. You know, uh, towards the end of last year, there the, was the robbery incident that happened, mm. and then December you were trending. You know, you were trending in December. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. You know, uh, about the incident, and you know, Bernard Boy was involved. Yeah. You know, you know. Can you talk about? Can you talk about that, that entire experience for me? I can actually um, dodge this I, for every interview. I, go, <laughs> I keep asking me this question, but anyways, I'm gonna just truly light on it. Um, it happened. Yes, I was shocked when I heard that. Um, Bonaba was involved, was actually the mastermind behind it, but he he called and said no, he has no hands in it, And but his managers and the boys were, they confessed when they were caught by the police, you know, because, and saying that he's the one, because I know he sent me a, a threat message, but I wasn't seeing it to be that way. I, I, I was thinking maybe whenever we meet anywhere, maybe at the club or at an event, we're going to have a physical combat. You know, so as two Patakot boys, I was sat like that. So basically, <laughs> so you were ready to fight. I, I was expecting anything, but I wasn't expecting the other. So I was shocked at the other. Way, okay. You understand? So when the when the news came out that the the boys had been arrested by the police and and they said he was the brain behind it, and he called me later and said he wasn't because my whole team and my management were all angry at that point that when he heard that that stuff was coming for him because then the hotel as well was ready to take the case to to every land that they could because their their image has been tarnished mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so basically but um when people started calling to apologize to beg that we should let go and he called me as well to say yo hey, he's sorry but he's not the one and his name is just been appearing because of his manager is there but he's not the one but he's really really sorry for everything that happened to me you know and and so immediately he said the word is sorry, I felt like, hey, okay. Uh, immediately I forgave him, okay. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like, okay, like, I just have to let go, I have to move, I have to move on at the end of the day, so, you know, so. It's all in the past now. It's all in the past. It, it, it ended 2017, so I'm facing, my, whatever I'm facing right now is my album and my career, how to get, how to get bigger than where I am today. How to elevate. Yeah, <laughs> but are we, are we going to see a Bernard Boy Mr. Tiki collaboration? Since uh, since it's what's on that the bridge, everybody's cool. Oh. Is it going to be like <laughs> as two protocol boys? Would you guys you know, release something for the for you the know, fans? From you the... know, I'm a businessman, mm -hmm. and I believe he's also a businessman. Okay, you know, if we're going to make money out of the beef, mm -hmm. then what's there? You know, you know, um, if if um, if uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, um, what's his boxer? Flo Mayweather. Yes. And, and the other guy yeah. can make money out of the whole business <laughs> and then they have, Okay. Yeah. So we can make money out of it. You can, you know, we can, even, we can even twist it to say we want to set a fight, both of us to have a fight, and but it's something that's maybe to I have an idea for the song. Bernard Boy and Mr. Suki, <laughs> fight. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so just uh, nobody knows what the future holds, but me, I'm an open minded person. So but I'm it's great that everything is better and we're all, it's, we're all good. Yeah. We're in a good place. God's grace, I'm good. Yeah. But, 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 but critics, are, critics say that um, the incident from last year contributed to the success of Elevated. 
Do you agree or do you disagree? I disagree totally because okay. Elevator was supposed to be released last year, December, and mm -hmm. this actually slowed us down a little okay. while. So we felt like, and that's why you see we're actually ignoring everything. The case is still in the court, but we don't really care. Like it's been a John and a John and a John, but we don't, I've, I've never appeared in the court for that mm -hmm. case because after he spoke to me, I felt like, listen, yo, I have to move on. Mm -hmm. I can't keep holding because I've seen worse things than that. At the end of the day, I'm from the South, you know. So uh, and I don't think it was that about so, but, um, the album is good, it's good. Mm. You understand? People pre-order the album. Maybe people want to see, okay, what is this person up to say? What's okay, what can he do? Maybe his fan as well might have well got my album to see, okay, to check out what it is. But at the end of the day, my album has been on I, I don't I don't really care if they say it. Whatever they want to say, that's their own opinion. Like, but to me, I tell you, yo, it's God. And I put so much work on it, and my team as well working. You know, we're promoting, we're actually working, and then we have good stuff out there. So God can actually bless anybody. So it's not a function and of what had happened. It's yeah. just because the album was a great body of the work. The album is banging, and okay. they have a banging song. They have banging songs in the album. And I see you trying to plug your song. <laughs> so you have your song called Banging. You're trying to plug it in. It's fine. So you know, we take it. So we'll talk about banging. Don't worry. <laughs> so we'll take a break now, and then we'll be right back. Now, Mr. 2K. For Hakot, yes, yes. yeah, um, you frequent there all the time. You know, you go do shows. You know, you're you're very active in the community. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask: Is there are there plans for you to mentor or like young artists to look at you and like, oh, Mr. Tuke is doing it big. He, he has his hit album. He's doing it big on the global scene. You know, and I want to be like him. Are there plans to mentor? I'm already doing that. We're doing that already. We actually do a lot of stuff over there to support talent from there. Uh, uh, so, but you know, it's it's a bit difficult because uh, entertainment scene is more of in Lagos than over there in Port Harcourt. So, you know, it's more of politics and oil in River State. So, <laughs> in River State, but yeah, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. Mm. Wait, but do you think that it's a do you think it's a myth that they have to be in Lagos? I mean, Doc and Mighty, you know, is in Port Harcourt, you know, but you know, we still he's still people he's still bumping, you know, right here in Lagos. So is there a way that you know you don't have to have to be based here, but you can also be in Port Harcourt and still be making the, moves? If the industry is alive in Port Harcourt, yes, I'd love to be in Port Harcourt to do anything mm -hmm. around Nigeria because we used to have an industry, but all of a sudden it died in Port Harcourt. So I was waiting, Bonham Boy Blue up in Port Harcourt, mm -hmm. Timaya, mm -hmm. uh, Duncan Mighty, everybody has a system, mm -hmm. Wacom Z, mm -hmm. and Life of MKs as well. Mm -hmm. We have those artists over there. So we, we, we were like, we have our own stars mm -hmm. over there. But what we were fighting then was like, they pay the people that come from Lagos higher than what they pay mm -hmm. the indigenous artists over there. So basically, but all of a sudden, those industry died there. But Duncan Mighty is still in Port Harcourt because he doesn't just do uh, he has not put out a new uh, any hit song oh, lately, wow. but he has st stuff running for him. Okay. I can see you collecting the contract. Even your haters go tell you you congrats. This song is very. And I did pray for more ghosts for her on somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> what inspired this song? This song is such a beautiful song. What inspired it? Um, prayer. My prayer life inspired this song because I love to pray. So I feel like praying for Nigeria, praying for people in Nigeria, praying for people who are hustling out there, praying for all hustlers that actually succeed in their hustle. Mm -hmm. You know, those who have good hearts and those people who also don't want you to succeed, you will succeed and shame or cash them. Mm. So would you so, so would, would you describe yourself as spiritual or religious? Spiritual, not religious. I'm not religious. I'm a spiritual person. Okay, why you know why 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 you not a religious person? Um, because Christ was not ever religious. Mm. Pastor Two K yeah. in the building. Jesus Christ was never religious. So, okay. So if I'm a Christian, that that means I'm Christ-like. Mm. So he wasn't. Drop mic. Yeah. Pay your tight. So it's, it's good to pay so, tight. It's very good. It's key. So, Pastor TK, so before we wrap up the show, talk about Banging, the new single with Ricardo Bang. Wow, wow, wow. It was a wonderful experience. Like, like the name go Banging, the song actually Banging songs for the club, for the party, because I'm like, they say, oh, you're too, oh, you're doing a cool song, cool song, and, you know. And like, the life of the party. Yeah, right now I took it to the club this time, so I'd like to give you, and it was produced by um, St. Tizzo as a Port Harcourt boy, and I decided to put Ricardo Banks, my brother, who's the guy. Mm. Ricardo Banks is an amazing 
amazing, amazing artist. Uh, okay. Established very early. And then he did justice to the song. We both did justice to the song, banging for the and ladies. The song is banging. And the song is banging. <laughs> Have you had a great time, Mr. Suke? Wonderful, amazing. Yeah. It, was, it was actually fun. I, I feel like just staying through the whole... Just, just, just chill, just, chill just, you know. You know. You know can, I, can, can, can you give us a taste of what to expect on the album? Give us like something like a song from the album. Just give us something like, okay, to, uh, to run with before okay, we leave. Okay, I'm going to sing a song different. Uh, one of the songs called God Can Bless Anybody. Mm -hmm. I, you know. If nobody encourage you, encourage yourself. Oh. I say, encourage yourself. Oh. Say, my brother, God can bless anybody. Uh, eh. uh, make you no look down on anybody. Oh. Eh. As you see me, so no be by power. Oh. No be by sense. Yo, oh. bros, nobody special past. My sister, God can bless anybody. Amen. Eh? I tell you, hey, Pastor. Make you no look down on anybody. I oh. want. It's not my calling. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Suke. I had so much fun chatting with you and you know your vibe. You have great vibes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't forget Michael from Mikurudu. Twitter, just send us a DM so we can get you your ticket for Black Panther. Shout out to everyone in the studio and upstairs that made this show a possibility. Tomorrow is Performance Friday and we're going to turn up all the way. My name is Harry Etier. We're going to leave you with Banging, Mr. Suke uh, featuring uh, Ricardo Banks. Uh, 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 Shawty said she wanna come over to my place uh -huh. Shawty said she wanna come over to my place uh -huh. Yeah Said she want country for the week